In this video, we're going to try and find a way of finding out the volume of a solid where, where it has a hole in the middle. So if you look at this diagram, so this is your y, your x-axis, your y, your x-axis. So, so this point here corresponds to, to this point here. Uh, if you rotate this 360, then that will be, it corresponds to this, you doing 360 here. This point here corresponds to this point here. You rotating it 360 would be you doing this on, on this diagram, 360. Uh, this point here corresponds to this point here. If you rotate this 360, it would be you doing this, 360, on this diagram. Okay? Uh, so, so, so this area here, this area here, corresponds to this area here. Okay, so so when you rotate this 360, you're going to get you're you're going to get a hole right in the middle here. You're going to get a hole right in the middle here. If you rotate this 360, you're going to get a hole right in the middle here. So there's a hole right in the middle here. Okay, and that on on this diagram the hole is right here. So so on this diagram the hole is right here. So it's, well. If you rotate this 360, you, you, you're going to get a hole right in the middle here. So to work out the volume of this here, we would sum up all the um, all the well. We can't use, we can't say discs. We we have to say sum up all the washers because because a disc would be a solid circle like this. Okay, but but uh, for for this one here, if, let, 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 for 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 this one here, it would be a solid circle but with a hole in the middle. So. Um, so, so it would be this. So this here would be a disc. This here would be what's called a washer, because because it's got a hole in the middle. So, so we would sum up all the washers. Okay. So, so here to work out the volume of this uh, of this solid here, uh, we we would we would sum up all the all the washers here. Okay. So, so we would sum up all the washers here. Let's just look at this one particular washer here. Okay. So, so um, so so this. This washer here corresponds to this bit here, which corresponds to this this washer here. So you you can see that um, you you you've got a hole in the middle here. So so you you summing up all the washers. Well, if you look at this diagram, what what's the area for this washer here? It would be it would be you having a cir a, a circle here. So this this is your your big circle. Um. So so you would work out the the whole big circle here. Okay, and then you take away the small, the area of the small circle. So you take away the area of the small circle. So the bit that we're interested in would be this bit here. Okay, so so how how would you work out the um, the the area of the big circle? Well, looking looking back at this diagram. Okay, remember we we're, we're summing up everything. So we're summing up everything. So it's us summing up how. So it's really us summing up everything from from A. Let's say this is A, and uh, this is B. We're summing up everything from A to B, and then um, let, let's let's just look at this one particular washer here. Um, well, well, we to 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 work out the area of this uh, this washer here. So um, so to work out the area of this washer, we would get the this whole radius here. The whole radius here would be f of x. So we we would Hang on, let's let's just so this this washer corresponds to this. So this is your 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 origin, your your center here. This here, this distance here is f of x. So that's that's the, the this radius here corresponds to this. So that's your f of x. So this is your f of x. So um so this distance here corresponds to this this height here, which is f of x. Okay, so so we we will need to get the the whole circle, which will be pi r squared, but r is f of x, so it would be us doing this squared. So so this here would this here would give us the whole area here. Okay, then we need to take away the small area. Well, the small area is is real. What's the radius of the small area? The the, the radius of the small area is g of x. Because uh, because if you look at this diagram here, uh, the the radius here would be g of x, which is which is g of x here. It, it would be the how the radius of the small the radius of the small circle would be 
would be from here to here, which is g of x. So, so the area of the small circle. So remember, we're we're getting the area of the big circle. Take away the area of the small circle. So, so, so this here is the area of the big circle. Take away the area of the small circle, which is pi uh, small radius. So that would be g of x squared. Um, so, so that 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 would be the whole thing. And then, and then, what, looking at this one particular washer here, what is the thickness of this washer? It is it is dx. So the thickness here would be dx here. So, so to work, so really to to work out the volume of this solid here. Um, you would need to do this, okay? And, and and just bear in mind that you do need to work out the area of um, of the full circle, and then you take away the the area, the whole area of the small circle. That will then give you your your washer, okay? Um, it's it's not a case of you. Uh, okay, just just bear bear that in mind. It is you working out the the whole area first, and then you take away the whole area of the small circle. Okay, so so to work out the volume of this solid here, you, you would need to do this. I will give you some practice in the next video.